Stampers, Deb Valder here, your fun Stampers journey coach. Today I'm going to show you how to do what I call a box card. You see how it's got that little box right inside there? It's just a really fun folded card, super uber easy. Let me point out a few things before we get started. Um, this stamp set right here is called Tea Time, and I just love it. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Great for any any occasion, Mother's Day. Um, just really a pretty st uh, stamp set with the a matching die to go with it. So you can buy it as a bundle, or you can buy them individually, either the, the stamp set um, and or the die. Just a really pretty set. Let me just show you a few more things that I did with that, because it's always good to get some extra ideas. Here is the calendar class that I did, and I used the, um, tea, the teapot for that one. And here is the cute little card I did for Mother's Day, a class that I did on, um, and, and this is the one we did. This is actually the wallpaper technique, and I did the class on that. And um, this one just happened to be a Mother's Day card. So that's the stamp set that we're going to be using today. I just highlighted a few things. Now I want to show you the paper that we're going to be using. You know that our designer paper packs are absolutely gorgeous. You know that the paper is extra heavy, so it feels like cardstock. This particular paper right here is one of my favorite favorites, and it's found on page 13 of this um, Spring into Summer catalog. Here it is right here. It is absolutely gorgeous. You're going to just love the feel of the paper. And I know that because when people um, come to my classes, they they notice and they, they actually say it out loud how, how heavy the paper is. Um, so you can make projects and, the, and they're not going to just kind of collapse on you. So this is the paper that I used in this one. Let me just highlight um, a few more pieces of uh, paper that we have. Here is um, another, let me just get that out of the way. Here's another paper pack. Now these paper packs are leaving, okay? They are on the retired list. This one is the Vintage um, um, vintage Paris um, set, and I just love, 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 love this. That one um, is also, it also comes, um, that is also the Vintage Paris pack, okay? And then this one is the Summer Romance, and this one is the um, Yummy Prince paper. Love, love, love the paper that we have. So let me just get started with you because we have a few a few little pieces that we have to do. Um, I'm going to start off by making my base. And my base is just a quarter sheet of cardstock. You see, it's just that, that quarter sheet of cardstock right there. The thing I'm going to highlight today is our cutter. Our cutter is one of the best on the markets. It's this one right here. And um, I absolutely, absolutely love it. It comes with um, these, the scoring blade and the cutting blade. And um, it has an extra wide panel right here. But I did a whole, um, a whole video on this. So I'm, just, I'm not going to explain too much. I'm just going to point out some of the things that I absolutely love about this cutter. And these really sharp, nice blades. Um, and they're very, they're very um, durable. You know, you can just, I just love that. Absolutely love it. But my best feature right here is these little things right here. I love these little pointy things going on both sides because it's going to lend itself to this card so well. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is start out with this piece of paper right here. And all I did was cut a piece of cardstock into um, a complete quarter, which is, let's get this out of the way, which is five and a quarter by Let's see, let's, it's five and a half, excuse me, by four and a quarter, okay? So it's five and a half by four and a quarter. That's our base card. There's nothing to open up because the whole mechanism comes from this super easy fold, you see? All right, so now let's cut and show you how easy it is to cut this purple piece right here, okay? This is Lavender Fusion, um, and this one is Pretty Pansy, but I'm going to show you how to cut this piece of um, cardstock right here. So I'm going to take my cutter, and I do like to um, have my um, smaller base on the right, so it looks like it's upside down, but that's just the way I cut. I like, I like this on my right-hand side. I like this on my left-hand side. Now, for this particular one I'm going to show you, um, we have to open up the extenders. In order to do that, we're just going to take and pop right here and pop right here. You can hear it. You can hear it. And what you do is just bring out these little flaps right here. So here's one and then here is two. And I'm just going to, let me just um, bring this out just a little bit more so you can see it. All right. So I have my, um, my two little um, extenders and I love that it's got this last one right here because when I'm working with my 12 by 12 paper, I can um, line it up on the top and the bottom. Awesome, awesome feature, okay? So, and it's super light. I like that also. So for this piece of paper right here, we're gonna take our Lavender Fusion, and this Lavender Fusion needs to be cut down from um, uh, eight and a half by 11. It needs to be cut down to four, which is right here. And what I like about this is that I can just pop these off. They just, you just slide them to the middle and you just pop them right off. 
So I'm gonna use my cutter, which is the green one, and I'm just gonna cut it four inches long, all right? And then for this, I need to cut it at um, nine and three quarters. So I'm gonna bring this over to the nine and three quarter. Let's make sure I am at the nine and three quarters. Yep, here we go. And all I'm gonna do is just cut off this little piece right here. So this piece right here is nine and three quarters by four. And now what I need to do is to make all of the cuts. So I pre-did one just to show you where I'm, I'm working from. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to need to score down the middle, okay? Um, it's at four, uh, five and a quarter. It's not exactly the middle, but this is where you need to, full, um, to put your crease mark. So it's going to go down to five and a, um, a quarter. So I'm going to pop back on, see how easy that is, and I can do it with one hand. I'm going to pop back on my scoring blade, and I'm going to go over to five and a quarter, which is right here, and I'm going to score. Now what I need to do is I need to turn... My, my piece right here and I'm going to bring it over to the one inch mark which is right here all right so let me just show you I want to recap let's bring this in I want to recap what I'm doing right here I brought this right here was done at five and a quarter now this is important because this is the larger side this is the smaller side here's the smaller side here's the larger side when you go to turn this you want to turn it so this is at the one inch mark right here so the smaller side is on the bottom the larger side is on the top that's very important because remember they're not even all right now what we're gonna do is we're going to pop this little guy off right here and like I said I can do this with one hand I'm gonna take this okay my cutter I'm going to bring it down, and that's why these side pieces are so important. Do you see that little pointer right there? We're going to start it at the number three, and we are going to bring that down to the seven and a half inch mark, which is right here. So I'm going to start it at the three. I didn't start it at the top. That's why this is so important, and it shows you that it goes right to this little mark right there. So we're going to go from three to seven and a half. Now those and numbers are important, okay? Watch what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this, we're gonna add this little guy back on here. We're gonna turn it so that our, our cut um, portion is right down here at the bottom. And then we're gonna bring this over. Remember I told you to remember three and seven and a half? We're gonna bring this over to three and we're gonna score right down, remember this little piece right here, we're gonna score right down to our cut mark. So, we're gonna take and, whoops, let's pop that back on there. We're gonna take and we're gonna score it right down to where we get to that little, um, that little cut mark. That's all we wanna score, is right down to there. Now, we're over at three, we went down to three, all right? Now, what, what one do we have to work on? We have to work on the seven and a half. So we're gonna go over to the seven and a half inch mark over here, and that's going to bring us right to this, okay? So we went to the seven and a half inch mark. We're already at the three because we just stopped there, and you're just going to finish it. And that's all there is to it. That's all there is to the cutting of this magnificent um, creative fold card, all right? So let's just grab this away, and I'm going to show you how to fold it now. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this middle piece and you're going to fold the, the larger portion in, okay? Let's bring this back up so you can see what I'm doing here, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm pulling this in while this is getting pulled out, and that's what you want it to do. After you do that, this is going to get folded back just like this, all right? Only down to this crease mark right here because you don't want to ruin this nice flat piece right here. And then this piece automatically just gets pulled up. So then what you do is just fold it over like this, okay? And, and grab your crease tool and just put your nice creases right in here. I like to do the back also, just like that, all right? And that's all there is to this little piece right here. And it looks so difficult, but it's not. Let's bring, it, let's bring the card back in and I'll show you what, what it is. You see how this just folds like that? Let me bring in what we just did. You see? Just like that. Isn't that cool? All right, so super simple. So now we're gonna do some embossing. We're gonna do some, um, uh, some layering of our, our, um, of our layers right here. And um, then our card will be done. Let's just take and um, let me show you how to glue this to the base card. So we have our base card right here. Here is um, our top piece. What I want you to do, this is the top of the card. This is the back of the card. You see the difference? See how this little piece is right here? We're going to turn this over. We're going to grab our Easy Glide. And we're just going to take and put. Now watch where I'm putting this. All right? You're not going to glue anything over here or it will never stick. 
I probably didn't need this much glue, but um, I just want you to see where it goes, all right? You do not put anything over here because if you do, it's going to glue the whole thing down and it won't be our little pop-up card, all right? So then you're just going to take and you're going to center this right onto that piece of cardstock, just like that. Okay, so now this is the this is a regular size card. Let me just bring back in one of my other cards and you'll see that it's the same exact card so it fits in a perfect envelope. But when you open it, it gives you that wow factor. All right, so now let's do some, let's do our embossing next. So I'm just gonna take some scrap piece of paper. I'm gonna bring in my Lavender Fusion ink and I'm going to bring in my um, teacup and my spoon. Now you know me, I love, love, love to um, save time. So I am going to just ink these up. All right, and let's get our um, embossing powder because with our ink, you have to um, ink it up and emboss it right away. You can't sit around and drink coffee in between. You just have to ink it up, stamp it down. As soon as you get it stamped down, then you're gonna take and throw it right into the embossing powder, just like that, okay? And now let's heat it up and we're good. All right, so let's just heat this up. I just love the way this looks after it's heated. The flower matches the flower on the paper. It's absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is to bring in, let's put the top back on our ink here. Um, well, I'm going to bring in my Journey Platinum machine, and we're going to cut this out. Okay, so here is, let's see, here is our, um, our teacup. We're going to add that with the spoon. Remember, I just love to run things through at the same time. So here we go. We're going to take the teacup, line it up. We're going to take the little spoon. This is how fast this card is, too. So if you're doing them, I would do a whole bunch at the same time um, because um, you've got everything out. Why not do a whole bunch at the same time? Just run that through, and we're good to go. There we go. All righty. So let's grab these and send our Journey Platinum over. And here we have our little pieces. Aren't they the cutest things ever? Okay, now let's grab our card because all we have left to do now is to put the pieces together. So let me just show you a little trick that I do. All right, let's uh, stick these out of the way. Let's open it up just like this. Uh, let me, let me uh, bring it up a little bit more so you can see it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and start the layering. We're gonna take, um, I like to start with the square pieces and I'm gonna take the, the black and then the black over here. And you can layer this as much or as little as you want. It's, that's totally up to you. Now watch what I'm gonna do because um, when your card is closed, you wanna make sure that it's very symmetrical. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna line this up just like this. And then, I want this black piece to match this piece over here. Because if I had this one down here, when it's closed, you see how, how funny it looks? So what I wanna do is I wanna add my adhesive to this, and then just kinda see where it goes. Okay, and Make sure it's all lined up. That's why I don't do all three of these pieces and then all three of these pieces. I just kind of make sure that it's all in line. Okay, it's all about the symmetrics. There we go. See how they line up so nice? All right, the next layer is going to be the uh, pretty pansy paper right here. And like I said, these just complement the pieces that are going here on the bottom. Love, love, love it. Okay, um, we're going to do this um, same thing over here. This piece is going to go right over here. So I'm just going to add my adhesive right to this one right here. And lay it down. I'm very particular about this because I just like to have the lines going right straight across. Love that look. Love, love, love it. Okay, so now, let's just lift this one up just a little bit. I want it to pull down. I'm just um, a fanatic about lines, okay? So there we go. And then the last piece over here is just going to be our last piece of, of square. 
right here. Okay. All right. And then we need to stamp. Now, when you go to stamp, I love this card because what you can do is you have a you have room to, to stamp or to write your message here. So you could add another piece of paper here, or you can write it here because when you close it, it's it's hidden. You see? So what I'm gonna do is just kind of lay it temporarily down here. So I like to just put a little bit of adhesive on there just to hold it. And I want to see exactly where I'm going to stamp. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to grab my Lavender Fusion ink. I used the Pretty Pansy ink on the original card. It was darker. And um, you can tell me which one you like better, the darker or the lighter. But I'm just going to take and line this up. And stamp it down. There we go. Oh, love that color. <clears throat> Now what we're going to do is just pop these little pieces, and I'm going to use um, both sizes of these, and I'll show you why. I'm going to use the big one for um, the, tea, the tea kettle, and I'll just put two on here. I'll put one right here, and I'll put one, actually I probably could have gotten away with just one. Alright, so I'm going to have that and that, and then watch what I'm going to do with the little guy, okay? I love these little miniature ones because they fit so well on our pieces. Do you see this, how tiny they are? And then that's just going to go up here on here, and there's no cutting, there's no fuss, there's no waste on these. That's what I really love about them, is that there's absolutely no waste. And then I'm just going to add my little spoon right up here. Now we have one more thing to do. And like I said, you don't have to do this many layers. I just love layers, though. Let's put that on and move that over. All right, now when I make these, these long pieces, for the layering, what I did was I made one long strip. The, the measurements for this will be on my blog. I just made one long strip of black and one long strip of this card, um, of the uh, designer paper, and um, then I just cut them where I needed them. All right, so I'm going to layer my black pieces right along the, uh, this is the long one right here, and you want it to be centered between here and here, so I'm just going to close it and make sure I see enough of every color all the way around. Alrighty, there we go. Good. Alright, so there's that one. And then I'm going to take and do this one and this one. These are the, the two inch pieces right here. One right here. Yep, and so you got to make sure you got it within the fold right there. Whoops, that one's hanging down just a little bit too much for me. Okay, and then here is this little guy right here. Okay, perfect. And then we will just add our other pieces right here. Okay, so here's this little guy. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do different on this one that I didn't do on the other one. I'm going to take this, put it right here. See how beautiful this paper is? No matter where you cut it, it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, and then on this one, I'm going to put it this way instead of the flowery way, and I'm going to show you why. It just came out so pretty if I do this. Okay, lay that there. Isn't that pretty? And then when you close it, it's one color. Isn't that pretty? Can you see that? And then when you open it, we've got the extra color right here. So that's my card for today. I call it a box card. I'm not sure what other people call it, but um, I just love it. I love the way it looks. I love just, I just love different folded cards, and this is one of my favorites. I love all the layers. Well, I hope you enjoyed my post. Hop on over to my blog because I do have the dimensions over there. Um, if you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me, and please, if there's anything I can help with, I'm here. That's what I'm for. All right, take care and have a great day.